What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Now we have purchased a lot of cars this year. In fact, if you average it out, we've been averaging about one car per month for the majority of 2022. But after we bought our Hyundai Tucson, we stopped buying cars. And so it has officially been about two and a half months since we last purchased a vehicle, which is an extremely long time for us. And in today's video, we're gonna be explaining why we put a halt to buying new cars. But first, we need to check in some cars. Now, the last couple of weeks, things have been going extremely well with the car sharing fleet. A lot of our cars are out on extended rentals, which means that there's less to do for the day-to-day -day operational aspect of the business. Which has allowed me to catch up on a lot of work that has been piling up for quite some time. cars to check in. We have this Ford Focus and we have our blue slash purple Hyundai Sonata. Blurple! So renters never cease to amaze me. They get so close to this, how is that possible? And then they got on, they're like, nah, it's okay, it's straight enough. And why is that popped out? Oh. That's new. Ouchie. Now I know that that chip may have been there, but this damage and cracked bumper was definitely not. Oh. Which brings us to our first reason why we stopped buying cars. We've just been having a huge backlog of work to catch up on. Now, as you guys may remember, we had our green Mazda 2, our Hyundai Elantra GT, and our RV, which were all pretty severely damaged in a matter of about a week and a half apart from each other. Our black Hyundai Elantra GT needed a fender and a front end replacement. Our green Mazda 2 needed both side doors and fender replaced as well. And our RV needed a roof repair on the front half of it where it ripped off. And between logistically planning all of these repairs, getting all of the parts, and of course HP's time to actually repair the vehicles and the RV, there was just a lot to get done. And it wasn't a smart decision to buy new cars while these repairs were simultaneously being done. So it looks like the renter may have brushed up against something or something brushed up against them. And we have an unusual line right here too. I don't really know. Thankfully, it looks like there's not too, too much damage, but it's gonna hard to claim this if our deductible is 750. Now, fortunately, it really isn't that bad, but unfortunately, this was a really good repeat renter, which is never ideal. Mm. On to the next car. Bam. Now that this turtle car is all cleaned up and sanitized, let's go drop it out at the lot. Don't you just love when you get done driving a vehicle and the song ends at the perfect moment? Mwah. Chef's kiss. But now that we're done with the Turo cars for the day, let's talk about another reason why we haven't continued buying cars for our Turo fleet. And that's our camper van. So at this point, we've been talking a lot about the camper van, and yet we have yet to show you any of the real progress that has been had with it. But whenever I tell you that this thing looks amazing, like it is absolutely incredible and all credit goes to HP. But as you guys know, the camper van has been an extremely long project that has gone way over schedule. And in many ways, this is because of the fact that we continued buying more and more cars throughout the camper van build. And it's really hard for HP to not only work on the camper van, but also onboard new cars, work on cars that have issues. It just makes it really hard. So in an effort to get this van done, at least 
somewhat on time with its new schedule, we knew that we needed to stop buying cars in the meantime. And as you guys know, with the past couple of weeks, me repairing cars on our current Turo fleet and still trying to juggle just managing and doing the regular day-to-day -day maintenance on the Turo fleet, it's still kind of been hard to jump in and get this van finished, but without buying these cars and making more problems, I've been able to at least get a lot of it done. But like we've mentioned a number of times in the last couple of videos, we are so excited to do a van tour and that video will be coming next week or in the next couple of weeks. But there actually is a third reason as to why we haven't purchased any more cars in the last three months. We're getting married. We're actually getting married next week and right now we're on our way to get our marriage license. One hour later. Got our marriage license. It's official. It even smells official. Now the reason why us getting married meant that we didn't feel like it made sense to buy more cars for the time being was because we're actually going on a two week trip throughout the west coast part of the country and as a result we're not going to be here to manage our Turo fleet. Now we are hiring our neighbor to watch our fleet while we're gone and we felt like 18 cars is kind of a lot to put on somebody's plate who's new to the platform and adding more probably wasn't the best idea. And so we knew that because we wanted to prioritize the van and get it 100% complete, we needed to get the Mazda, Hyundai, and the RV fixed, and we knew that we would be out of town for two weeks to get married, and that it just didn't make sense to continue to expand our fleet for the time being. So the goal for between whenever we get back until the end of the year is to grow our fleet as aggressively as possible. And in Q4, we will probably be adding between four and six vehicles. Now our initial plan for the year was to get to 25 cars in total. And though I don't think that we'll get to that number, I think we can very realistically get to between 22, 23 cars. But be sure to stay tuned for the next couple of months because that means we're gonna have a very action packed coming up videos. And we're not gonna have a couple of videos for the these next couple of weeks as we're gonna be out of town. But as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next episode.